So you can see my screen, right? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. So now you can see I can place them nicely. Six, seven, eight, whatever like amount I want, I can do it very easily. But this model, you can see it's single sided. So I can see through the model back face curling. So it's a flipped normal. So I can see through the model, right? So there are two ways to fix it. Either I can go back to Maya and like cover this section. Like this, either I can cover it like this, or I can cover this section, which will be covered anyways with these rocks, right? So I can do this, or I can do that as well. Any both of them are perfectly fine. So in, in this case, I'm just modifying it. Environment, oh, you can no. see. Yes, tell me. Uh, if if uh, uh, the if if we are if I'm modeling the closed scene. Uh, um, I didn't extrude the outside of the wall. It it will affect the lighting in Unreal, or uh, it won't affect the lighting. Like uh, like this, you have you haven't done this extrusion, extrusion, right? Yeah. So uh, yes, you have to extrude it, so it will affect the lighting. If, okay. Because there is no uh, depth in your model, so it won't cast sh any shadow. Okay. So you have to create that model. You have to create it in your model, like basic uh, formula, like basic formula of modeling is if there is a change in silhouette, silhouette is basically the outline of the model, right? If there yeah. is a change in silhouette of the model, you have to model it. Like any reference, yeah. there's a change in silhouette, you have to model it. Because okay. if in this scene, if I go and check, like you can see it looks like the same surface, but there's a depth. This depth I can I cannot uh, like create with a like cannot uh, like create the illusion of this thing, so I yeah. have to model it, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Okay. So one more thing. Now I'll go and now I'll see this particular thing. Is I need to increase the base length slightly because just you can see here. It's not covering this thing. So I have to increase this, select this, and export selection one more time inside. Yes, and go to Unreal. Now you can see that I have duplicated this thing multiple times, right? But yeah. if I import, de import it, it will automatically get updated, all of them. Oh. All of them it will update uh, without any error. So now you can see <clears throat> this is my this this is what I'm doing here. This is my final model and final output. If but if you suppose if you try to render it out in Maya, then you have to re -re create the entire model. Mm -hmm. So these two are done. Hide it. <clears throat> now I have this section. <clears throat> This section. So first thing first, same thing. Move the pivot point to the corner. Then X. Okay, it's already correct. See? Yeah. So freeze, reset, and export this as main uh, pillar, main pillar, right? Or maybe uh, pillar number one, pillar underscore zero one. So it will be sorted. And I'll go here, import, same setting, import.
and bring it here. For this, again, 0, 0, 0. Now I can place it here. <coughs> Alt, drag, duplicate it to other side. Then here I have another arch. So I need the other arch. This section I need. So these two either I can combine them together or I can keep it separate. Right now in this model, there is an issue. Like uh, accidentally, I selected everything I beveled it. So what happened? All this in between unwanted groups created. I have to yeah. optimize and fix it because you can see there is an N gone also one, two, three, four, five. So this is wrong. So I have to collapse it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll fix it. So as of now, I'm just simply selecting these two. Alt H and combine D B. Make sure make X and snap it to the world origin. Please reset history. Export selection. This is my uh, arch underscore zero two. Sorry, oh, I accidentally pressed capital caps. Arch underscore zero two. Export. Import. Import. This is my arch. Go back. Take it here. Zero, zero, zero. And next to this. So you can see I got the placement, everything. And now if I want to, because why I, there's a reason why everything is modular, I brought it here like this, because this left side and front side is not visible. Suppose I want to uh, create something there. So in that case, what I'll do is I will use uh, this thing, duplicate, duplicate, and create this thing, to populate that scene. Okay. So let's place it. So you can see a basic layout, it's uh, getting ready. So now, so this is my basic layout is getting ready, but it doesn't look like my this scene, right? It doesn't look like at all uh, like the scene. So what yeah. I'll do for this is, so first thing first is, I need this rocky mountain, right? So let's let me save this first. Mm, I'll go and save it with my um, Save it. I saved it and save all. Save everything you have imported. Yes. Okay, done. So, uh, have you installed the Megascan bridge yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the bridge in my. Okay, very nice. So, uh, have you? Uh, like you can see in your Unreal, you have this plugin installed. Uh, I haven't installed that in okay. my Unreal. Okay, so I'll show you the process because this is bit. Sometimes people get confused about this thing, how to do it. So, okay. bridge. I'll just open my bridge. So, uh, whenever you open this bridge, make sure sign in with your Unreal account okay. nothing else okay. with unreal everything is free without unreal everything is paid so make okay. sure you use unreal if, login if i do freelancing also it will it will be free for me yeah right? <clears throat> it yeah. will be forever free okay. <clears throat> but but there is a catch like uh like megas can bridge and everything we everybody can use it only thing mm -hmm. is key, if you're directly using it like for commercial purpose okay. In that case, like usually if you're doing small projects and all, nobody cares. If you're doing some international client or some really reputed client, uh, that time they will ask for license. Okay. So in that case, what you can do, you can use Megascan Texture and modify it. Okay. 
if you modify it it no longer stays as bigger scan texture it modified the texture and created your own texture so yeah. so we are going to do that technique as well as use mega scan directly so in this case i can see like uh, in my reference if i see my reference i have big boulder this kind of rocks right yeah so i'll go to mega scan there is option oh first install plugin so go to 3d asset or something let's uh, search for something let's see props interior industrial historic food building nature okay rocks you can see we have so many rocks here yeah. so just simply select any one of the rock it's okay it's closed it's a closed solid rock so then you can say texture you have up to 8k okay. so i don't want 8k 8k is too high let's use to one the 2k right now and go okay. to the setting you can see there are two options download settings export settings download okay. setting where you can define what are the things you want like in maps in terms of map model in terms of model what are the things you want to download okay. you want to download lod 0 you download lod 1 or what so in terms of what <coughs> you want you can download all these things so this is you can modify plus if you, if you want to download a high poly model or source ztl or Z, some brushes you can do that as well so this is your download setting then let's download this it will take little time it will like download really quickly if you like it's again depending upon your uh, net internet speed this download so like i have like decent uh, like uh, like this like fast network so it will show you successfully downloaded so now go to export setting then you go to export setting you can see by default it will show you unreal engine and then then rest of the things will be empty for the first time if you have under like right now bridge installed you can do it along with side with me right now so it will, it will fix it Ah, huh. so make sure whichever engine version you have, 4.25, 4.26, 4.24, any version, make sure okay. select that only. Okay. Drop, drop down menu. Select that engine, then plug in location. This is like most of the people may, like misses this thing. Without this plugin location, you cannot install your Unreal plugin. This is uh, Unreal plugin. So. This plugin path is wherever is your Unreal installed. It can be C drive. It can by default it's C drive inside okay. programs inside Epic Games. There is a Unreal Engine, right? By that's by default path. But in, you okay. see, in my case, I have installed it in C e drive. So okay. wherever you have saved it, like suppose C drive, click on this. Browse and go to your Unreal Engine folder, Epic Games Unreal Engine, your engine version 4.26. There should be a folder, then, then there is an engine, then there is another folder named plugin. So select the double click and open the plugin folder and then select folder. You make sure you have to select this, this uh, engine and uh, slash and this in the engine slash plugins folder otherwise it won't install and you won't be able to use it in unreal okay it's clear right so select this plugin folder uh, select folder, and then it will show install click on install it will, inst it will be installed yeah like you're doing it right now uh i uh, i think from my unreal installation folder Okay, if you're not uh, you're not sure where is your Unreal for Unreal, you must have uh, yeah. must be having one Unreal this thing like shortcut. Yeah. yeah. Right click and go to location, open location. Okay. So in this location, you can see it opened my E drive. It will open your C D E F whatever drive you have installed it. It will open that drive, so you can get the exact path and go to engine. Okay. You can see plugins. Select this path. So this is my engine plugin path. So like this, you can select it. 
found it. Uh, engine, engine plugins, yeah. yeah yes, engine plugins, plugins and then install it. Then there's a hit install. Okay. It will do, uh, do something and show you install. This blue tick, this blue thing, it will show. Uh, my plugin is downloading. Okay, downloading. Okay. Meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll just simply uh, like export all these things uh, quickly. So I have this. So you can see I have modified this design slightly. In reference, it have only two of this uh, like side uh, like wing this thing uh, thing. I have created four instead of three two. That's like uh, I thought. Like I can do it. Like it is look nice. That's why I did it. And please it. Corner X. X. Snap to the grid. Possibly snap, freeze, reset, display, delete everything. Now, export selection pillar 02. Then I'll go to until. Whenever you have plugin installed, then tell me, then I'll show you something how to do it. Oh. By the time I import all this thing quickly, drag, drop. Click on this uh, green arrow and it will go back to zero, zero, zero. One is here and alt, drag, another one is here. You can create this section very easily. Okay. Save this also. So your Unreal plugin is installed? Uh, I have done. some bit, yeah, it, it did slow. Uh, no, no, problem, no problem, no problem, no okay. problem. So by the time I will just simply, uh, wait my, my app, right? Push, rest of the thing, you can see in my case, I have modeled this entire thing together. It's a solid geometry. Yeah. And there are still a lot of scope of optimization. So I can like, unnecessary because first of all, this is the back, this is backside, not visible. Secondly, this this uh, particular uh, loop is not serving any purpose there is no uh, there is no role for this thing okay. yeah. because if i snap it here or keep it there it doesn't make any difference so i snapped it you see kind of optimized merge 127 from 120 41 to 127 so i have optimized it now i have this floor so this floor also i'll do the exact same thing i'll push it by like a uh, like called edge and this is already at zero 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 centralized or maybe one corner any one of the corner maybe this corner or that corner this time i'll use <coughs> this corner for me to be easy to control it mm -hmm. and this corner x snapped please reset history 
selection this is my floor underscore zero one because i have another floor then floor zero one four done this is back to zero 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 everything and you can see it automatically fits now if i want i can push it further and oh it doesn't fit so if my mistake is supposed to be here it's supposed to be okay And this section cover it. And this one, this one, this one, this one. Move it up. Map nicely. And you can see my basic level is almost ready. Save all, we'll save everything. Saved. Similar manner, I'll go and save other stuff as well. Hide. Okay, this thing, this thing. What I can modify this very easily. Create this thing, and you can see this again. This entire so this the, that a basic section is wasn't required, so that's why I deleted it. And one more thing I want is I want to increase this thing slightly so that if there's an extension, I can modify things very easy. This is like I modified. So, so in this case, because this is a unique uh, scene and this particular section is not repeating anywhere. So what I can do is I can just simply Combine them together like this. And here I can see this entire frame. Either I need to push it back or push it forward, or I can push this thing forward slightly, make sure it's clean. And push it down. So it's a straight line. And if required, I can optimize. Make things clean, clean. Now, these two things, if I want, I can export them together. So uh, here you can see it's under grid. So I'll combine them. D, D, and stuck to the corner. X. What is this kind of thing? That perfectly freeze reset. History and export selection lower two so. It's a zero, zero, zero. Then move it there, push it down. Mm -hmm. 
so i just modified this thing and <clears throat> here i can see i can see the background that means it's a scale of these two edges are not sufficient so i'll push it back and make sure if there is no like error so like this i'll fix each and every model and check there is no error at all and it, everything matches my final output because this is my final output so everything see now it's fit there is no issue and this is my actual final model and if i want i can select the entire mesh here and export it back to maya i can do that as well but this is real time so i can see everything and i can check so okay, this looks nice so uh, your uh, this thing is installed everything is ready yeah which uh, i think there is some error in thing on uh, it's not downloading fully it's still downloading okay which okay try try it like anyways i'll send you a video send you a, send you the class recording as well so uh, like from uh, today okay. onwards for every class i'll send you a class recording so if you have any issue you can check that or you can ask me directly uh, uh, like we'll explain everything so once you download yeah. any asset be it a model be it a texture okay. be it material anything select that okay. you will see okay. there is an export option you what you have to do is just click okay. export and it will show export okay. successfully and unreal you can see instantly this updating asset reference will pop up automatically okay. Okay. so for this you need if you for that i need to install plugin in unreal unreal also yes yes for this you need to okay. install unreal plugin then only it will work okay. otherwise it won't work okay it's loading everything and it will install uh, it will load the uh, model plus it will uh, like uh, load all the textures plus it will create a material for it so okay. it will save a lot of time for you for all those okay. pieces we are going to use for mega scan or modify things for those things okay. is there any way to export from maya to unreal with texture uh, maya to unreal yes it's there if you assign all the textures in maya and then you yeah. export that model as fbx and then you okay. import it into unreal it while importing it there's a last option uh, like there's a option named import material and texture oh, okay. while export there is a there's a window right while exporting yeah. uh, la, yeah. if you scroll down last there is an option called uh, import material and texture if you select that anything connected okay. to that particular mesh like uh, like okay. mesh it will automatically load into unreal okay it's loading it's like a bit heavy i, be, I believe that's why it's taking a little time Still loading. So by the time I'll export a couple of more things. Yeah, it's loading. That's why my system is started lagging.
you so much time. Or you can see it have a decent amount of a lot of rocks and cliffs and everything already preset. But this is just a preset. We will create texture as well. Don't need to worry. This is so like I'm showing you how to how environment are created. Uh, for our scene, I'll create few things manually. Mm -hmm. Taking much time. It close one more. Just closed all the unwanted this thing. Okay. Yes, I downloaded only 2K maps. Why is it taking so long? Like it's showing 100%. Should open it, in, it doesn't usually doesn't take this much time. I don't know why, mm -hmm. what happened. It takes so much time. So much time. Why the temple should have finished also this thing? Yeah. 
I'll input it like, like I don't know due to some strange reason it took so long like it's not loading I don't know check it uh, usually it works perfectly um, okay. Uh, okay. let's open my saved level it's compiling some shaders Finally, no, still not something got corrupted or what? Certainly, my five eleven. Okay, it's like we have less than one minute. Okay, I'll restart the meeting. You'll just rejoin. Okay. Oh, finally, loaded. Already. So, okay, let it be. So, let me search for some rock. Like, I have a couple of rocks already installed, like already imported in Unreal, like from previous projects. Let's do something. I'll show you, like, how to use it. <clears throat> 